I'm here at the Dolphin Reef in Eilat, Israel. I'm here with Lawrence Lanoff. We're going to get to know him because I don't know everything about him, but he is a big name in the sexual shamanic uh, healing industry. What do you do? Right. And I, I consider myself to be sort of a, a reality magician. At the end of the day, after lots and lots of years of meditation and sort of standard spiritual practices, I found that all roads one way or another led to sexuality. When you talk about spirituality, you generally don't mix sexuality. The magic is teaching people that it's okay to feel good, mm. which isn't really magic. What do you use? What tools do you use? It's funny because I don't know that I have a specific tool. Here we are in this moment in Israel. How is life happening? Life, one way or another, happens through sexuality. Okay. Right? So, and it's that movement of energy that is life, right? We are here through sex. Like everything you see that is alive, one way or another, is here through sex. Mm -hmm. So, the only tool is becoming aware that that's what's going on, mm -hmm. right? That's, that's what's happening. Like, regardless of all the stories, the bottom line is, is that people are most afraid of sex, they're most into sex, they're most excited by sex, they're most afraid in the most terrified ways, the most wanting to control and dominate. So, so the tool that I like to use is just becoming aware that no matter what you do, it's happening. The first uh, introduction to your work I got was at the Zorba Festival, yeah. where you had the, a huge crowd at the main stage in the afternoon. Yeah. The big question that I love to ask, and I'm quoting you, how fucking good am I willing to feel in this moment? So you're giving yourself permission to be more and more free. Oh, get it while you can. But Sedona is known for vortexes. And I have this big vortex to just suck out anything that needs to go down into the center of the earth. So if you feel some spinning energy, that's what that is. And you really got the energy yeah. lifted and people were really tripping on what were you doing. Yeah. So can you talk about a bit about, you know, your presentation and what your goals were and what you were trying to get people to do? My intention was to turn people onto the idea that there is this energy, this force, this life force, and that that life force can be tapped into and you can use it to expand your pleasure. So in the same way that life is happening here, and you can tap in right now, you can feel the, the life force of the wind and the water, and it's like giving people permission to reclaim what I call our primal pleasure. And so I wanted to just tap people into that primal pleasure on stage. Like what it feels like to, oh yeah, oh I have a body, oh it feels good, oh I can move it, oh I can feel my sexual energy in my body mm -hmm. and I can move with that too mm. and so that was the idea so I also heard you mention um, shame fear and guilt so why do we keep focusing on the story of shame fear and guilt when it looks like in society where we're at a place where we've been the most sexual sex is not only about inserting point a into slot b right so that's how most people frame sex and what they don't realize is that, yes, we are sensationalizing sex, but the reason you have the sensationalism is because you have a base that it's built on of shame, mm -hmm. of guilt, of fear. If you were just used to being naked and looking at bodies was fine and having erections or turn on was fine, then you wouldn't, there wouldn't be, like if you saw an image in the media, you'd just be like, whatever, I just saw 500 of the exact same thing in the last half hour on my walk. If somebody walks in on you 
like unexpectedly, the first thing you, and you're naked, the first thing you do is you do that, right? That is the bot embodiment of shame. That's so the programming. It, all the media stuff and porn itself can be run rampant because we all have some sort of thing because it's not just that you're having sex, but maybe it's the way you want to have sex. Mm. Maybe it's that you're turned on by something, like you have a turn on or a fetish, uh, a foot fetish. Well, you may not be able to talk to your partner about that, in which case you have shame about being able to communicate about that. So culturally, we're okay with a kind of a very normative sex, a very like, this is the box. Even in Tantra, you know, there's sort of Tantric sex right. and that's the good sex, right? Right, Which is also bullshit, right. right? Because there's no good sex. There's just, there is sex and sex moves in all kinds of different ways. I've directed a video, um, Red Hot Touch, which was, you know, just all about teaching couples touch, tantric touch right. techniques. And, um, and we had to hire some porn stars because they had to be comfortable with like, you know, so there was a lot of, there was a high comfort level, right? But a surprising amount of inexperience around actual pleasure. Mm, 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 mm. Oh. Okay, right? Because porn is for the viewer's yeah, exactly. pleasure, not for the performer's pleasure. So one of the girls who I shot with, um, she actually started crying after we shot, and she cried for about an hour. And I was like, did we do something wrong? You know, like, what, what's the problem? And she's just like, she's just like, I've never had somebody focus on my pleasure for such a long period of time. The only thing with porn is this. That's what most kids are using for their sex education. That's the issue. That's the issue. Who the performers are, like all that stuff, all that, as far that's as I'm concerned, stuff. that's, it's just mythology. Yeah. It's a lot of stuff to, to get you to stop, you know, don't watch it because whatever. Okay, cool. But if you're getting your sex education from there, that's where the problem is. If you can just realize that people express and start to have a different quality of conversation, that is gonna up-level everybody. Hmm. Anyways, let's shift gear. What do you teach, what do you do? I mean, well, so I, right now I've been doing a, uh, what I call sexual energetics workshop, which is, which is just basically teaching people if you move away from, like I said, inserting point A into slot B, and you move towards the idea of how, what is sex energy and how does that move mm. and how does that allow you to connect with somebody and go into depth, right, and intimacy and connect, that's what I teach about. Sex happens in your body. So it's crucial that you take care of your body, that you learn to listen to your body, and that you learn to take that focus that you have on you and be able to direct that towards somebody else. And when you can, mm. exactly, and when you can direct that focus, beautiful things start to happen. And, and this is the thing that most people who study sexuality don't understand is how deep you can go. Just how, it's like stepping into another world and it is so worth the journey. Just keep opening, keep listening and engage in the conversation because the conversation, the quality of the conversation increasing is what is going to make the change. Lawrence, tell me where can people find out about your work? You can find out about my work at Lawrence Lanoff. How would you spell that? L-A-W-R-E-N-C-E-L-A-N-O-F-F dot com. Awesome. And can you tell us a bit about um, a few things coming up? What's coming up? Um, I'm doing an Insta training here in Israel okay. in, um, oh boy, in October, okay. which will be awesome. I mean, basically from now until October, I'll be traveling different places. So best is check out your website. Check out my website. Facebook would be good. You can always um, Same subscribe. Same thing, Lawrence Lanoff. Lawrence Lanoff, yeah. Very good. This has been super interesting. Thank you very much, Lawrence, for your time. <laughs> and I hope to uh, cross paths with you again. Oh, for sure, with man. You or yeah. figure out how uh, this can continue to grow. So you've been watching thespiritualplayboy.com. Rate this video, share this video, comment on this video. And uh, remember, let love free because that's the only way. Peace. Sweet. <laughs>